Wow, we're back out. <sighs> Hello, fellow gamers. Kevin J2010 here, welcoming you back to somewhere. <laughs> Legend of Skyrim Sword in the last episode. We got through the fire sanctuary, and trust me, I'm living my own fire sanctuary, guys. Oh, jeez. It is really hot up here in Canada right now, in southern Ontario. It is really hot. I mean, it has been some of the hottest weather. We, well, it's always really hot every every summer, but jeez, I am sweating. And you're lucky that I'm recording, because I said to myself, when I record, to, I don't really want to record today because I'm going to have to turn off my fan. And if I turn off my fan, it's going to be really hot in here. And I turned it off for you guys. Anyways, you saw I climbed in there and oh look at the fairies! Oh look at the fairies! Oh wait, do I have an empty I don't have a free empty bottle. You know what? I'm gonna drink this, even though I don't need it. And I'm gonna scoop another one. I don't see the problem with multiple fairies. I don't see a problem with multiple fairies. I'd rather have a guardian angel than have health pots. You know what I mean? There's a League of Legends reference. Okay, we get a hard piece. This is number 20, which finally completes another hard container. And if you pay attention to that, we are one full hard container away. We are one full hard container away from having all the hard containers in the game. So, I mean, that's just four hard pieces. That's it. Just four hard pieces, guys. We got this. You know, we got this. This LP is almost done, oddly. This seems like Zelda games happen to come out to be 70 episodes, just generally, which is not bad. Anyway, so we're going to head back up to the sky, and we are going to uh, collect those goddess chests and then head back to the sealed grounds, because as you remember, um, we needed to have our the full power of our Skyward Strike to open uh, the next area in the game. Or to not open the next area, but to open the seal of time or whatever it was. Anyway, so let's actually look where all these where all these things are. Oh, jeez, they're all on Thunderhead. Oh man, that's gonna be a lot of flying around and stuff. All right, well I'm gonna I'm just gonna cut to going all of them because it is going to be a while. So I'll see you guys in a few moments. Okay, so we're making our way over here to Fun Fun Island, and right down if here there's a goddess chest. Right underneath Fun Right underneath Fun Fun Island. And it is a gold rupee, which is nice, you know, three hundred rupees. Shh, don't tell anyone what you mean like we stole it or something? I don't get it. Anyway, so I'm just gonna cut to getting the ones that are in the Thunderhead. See you guys again in another minute. Okay, so we found our way over to this island here. Um this island is gonna play a big role in things later. Now let me remember where the I'm gonna push this over while I'm here. Um, let me see. Let me check the map. It's right over there. It's me. According to the map, it's right. I'm right on top of it. I am right. It should be right in front of me. There it is. Okay. So I have to find my way. Oh, okay, I remember now. We have to get all the way to the top of this place, which is really stupid. Um, this island we actually will return to. There's a little thing that we're going to do there. But I'm not going to say much on the subject yet. Uh, mainly because it's a secret. A secret to everybody. And I don't want to ruin the surprise for you people. Well, maybe we didn't want to move that down. Oh, jeez, if I didn't, I screwed myself over. Okay. Anyway, well, again, we'll deal with that later. But for now, we're pretty good. Okay, where is that? Oh, bees. Oh, bees. Oh, bees. Oh, bees. Oh, bees. I'm sorry. I'm just grabbing this. Inside this chest, there is... Oh, sweet! Hard piece number 21. So there's only three more hard pieces left to get in the game. I'm going to tell you right now... Oh, those bees are chasing me. Good thing I know how to fly. Anyway. I wonder if birds ever get stung by bees. The weird things that go through Kevin J2010's head. Thanks, fellow gamers, for watching my video, because I'm I'd probably go insane. <laughs> I'd probably go insane sitting here playing video games without you, because, I mean, you can't blame me for being an idiot. I don't know. I'm probably acting really weird because of all this heat and sweat. I scratch myself every once in a while, and I can feel it, like, in my fingernails. That's probably gross, but it's that sweaty out, okay? Okay. And inside this one, the latch is on the other, other side. 
There is going to be a... With a bomb bag! Oh, and let's just carry five extra bombs. That's not bad, but we don't have room in our pouch, so it's gonna get sent to the item chest. That's okay. Anyway, so I'll see you guys back over at Skyloft, because you know that is undoubtedly where we're going next. Actually, we could skip it. Yeah, you know what? Actually, I'll skip it. I'll just cut to where I'm going, and then you guys will see where we're going. So I'll see you guys in a minute. Okay. We're back. And as you can see, we're actually flying towards the green light. Because the green because this is Steam, and my game is being on Project Greenlight. No, not really. I don't have any game game designing uh, skills. But yes, we want to land into the green tower of light and go to the point for descent upon the whatever. We're going to want to land in the... No, let's land behind the temple. I want to see if we can do something in a second. Um, we might be able to get an extra heart piece while we're here, and if so, that'll help out a lot. I'm going to talk loudly. We should be okay. Is this a good place to land? Oh, hey. I didn't think I didn't think you guys were all here for the welcoming party. Hello, Pokeblins. You guys are blue. Get, get, hey. Jeez. Anyway, okay. They're all dead. They're all dead. I've killed all of them. Which is a good feeling. Um, I believe we want to head this way. I hope I'm heading the right way because I always get lost when I'm not. Let me check my map. Ah, oh, jeez, going the wrong way again. God, I've done it again. This way. What's up there? What's up there? Oh, it's like a back entrance into there. Okay, well, we want to head this way then, because Gorko's up there, and we want to talk to Gorko. Oh, hey, bud, you would probably know the blessed butterfly flying mm -hmm. around here lately. Too bad I have absolutely no musical ability whatsoever. I cannot create beautiful tones to save my life. Okay, well, I can't. I'm not a great singer, but here's the song. It goes... That's how it goes. That's how my song is. Isn't it, isn't it beautiful? I just go up the scale and down the scale because I don't know how to play a freaking leer that we keep calling a harp for some reason. And a discovery of a lifetime. There is no mistake in the symbol must mark the goddess walls. See, we could have done this earlier, but I don't know why I didn't. I missed out on it. It's fine. I usually do it this time anyway. So I do this, and then it's like, whoa. And you can draw something on it. Now, I believe... Actually, wait. I'm going to back for a second. I'm not going to draw on it yet. I'm not going to draw on it yet because if you talk to him, he says... I came across an ancient volume in the course of my research. Wanna know what it said? Okay. Mm. Arrow in repose. Ye who yearns to strike targets from afar, draw the shape that it may be known. Well, that's what's written here. Does that mean anything to you? Well, whatever. So what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna get our Skyward Strike ready. I've shown you guys how to do this before, but uh... Anyway, so he said Arrow of Repose. To draw an arrow. What? 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 I was not expecting it would appear, but me neither, man. Me neither. <laughs> Whoa, okay. Oh, those hearts are just floating. Oh, okay. Okay, I drew. Okay, you know what? You know what? You know. You know. Ah, Jeez. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go. Go to the sealed grounds. And then I'm gonna come back, and hopefully that wall's back. Because if it's not, I'm gonna be a little upset. And I don't know what. Why that happened. I. That was clearly an arrow. I'm gonna run back. Now hopefully that thing respawned. Hello, well these guys respond, so that's a good start, I guess. Luckily they didn't want to pick a fight with me this time. And it's not here. I drew an arrow! Are you serious? We are back! A bunch of strange creatures came out down below. I have never seen anything like them. Is there any way you could get rid of them like you did before? Mm-hmm. You know, but even at a time like this, I never stop thinking about my research. Jeez. Over time, the power of the goddess walls is restored. When that happens, I would like your help with my... Re that...
new levels of rage are being reached right now. I'm just saying that right now. I'm, I'm actually rather peeved. Okay, I'm just gonna tell you right now. If you drew an arrow, like, I mean, I don't know what I drew. Clearly, clearly, it wasn't an arrow. Maybe I'm the noob here. Maybe I didn't draw an arrow all along. Well, if you drew an arrow, you get a heart piece, okay? Maybe I... Here's the graphic on the screen to say, hey, the 22, 22nd hard piece is right here. It's right here if you drew an arrow, like he asked, but I didn't. So apparently the arrow that I drew was actually a heart. Apparently... Jeez, oh, okay. Okay. I've raged long enough. We're gonna get in here and we're gonna get this thing going. Ah, your sword. There can be no doubt the Sacred Flames purified this blade. Well done, Link. That sword holds tremendous power. Mm. What if I can do it all? That power is a sacred force. It is a divine power left to us by the gods of old. The same power that is spoken of in the Ballad of the Goddess. To look upon you is to see that same great power now flowing in through th whatever. Can't read the lines. Come, Link. You must now open the gate of time. Now that the sacred force dwells within your blade, strike the gates of time with a skyward strike, and it will surely awaken. Let's read it with... Climb upon the pedestal and show the gate your sword's power! Here we go. Oh-ho! No. I fear the seal has given away once again. The terrible beast is awakening even as we speak. It is likely that the monster reacted to the sacred sword's power given off by your sword. I wish it had not happened, but there was no other way to open the gate, so it goes. Link, you must imprison the beast once again. <laughs> All right, bring it on. <laughs> this is what I've been waiting for. It's time to break out my new toy. Trust me, the flabby bag of teeth doesn't stand a chance. Well, what are you waiting for? I'm heading out there. I, I. I like how I can't keep a straight voice for any of them, but I don't know, I'm not good. I can do a voice when I want to. If someone asks me to voice act, I can totally keep a voice for long enough to, to read over some lines. But I would totally lose it after like an hour or so. <laughs> anyway, so it's opening. Hey, Link! This is, this is my Groose voice. Yeah. <laughs> Try not to drill on your shit as you stare at this amazing super weapon I've been working on. I call it the Grusinator. Leaves you speechless, doesn't it? That's only natural. You wouldn't believe how much time I put into building this beauty. Here, check it out. First, I got all the fences cluttering the area out of the way. Then I laid down the rails for her to run on, all by myself, of course. I don't know what came over. I had no clue I could have the talent. You know what, Grus? We got it. We got it. Okay, look, you can throw bombs. I get it. It's the catapult that's on rails. It's good because it helps center the thing. And I get it, Bruce. You did good. You done good, kid. You done good. But the problem is that you're you're still here talking to me. You are still here talking to me. And I we're, we're trying to stop the beast. And you're still. Thank you. Don't you know the number of the beast? Six six six. It's uh, there was a song. It's by Iron Maiden. You should listen to it. It's a pretty good song. Actually, I went to Iron Maiden live. They didn't play that song. Oh yeah, they played Number of the Beast. They didn't play Run of the Hills. That's what I, that's what I thought they should have played, but they didn't. Anyway. Here it comes. I wonder if it looks any different. I wonder if it looks any different. Oh, no, not at all. It's the same boss again. Okay. Okay, yeah, let's fight him twice. Oh, he looks a little bit different. Was it? Oh! He's got arms! He came and brought arms! Oh, look at you! This is the imprisoned with arms! Let's do this! Okay! Literally the same boss! Except he does his explosion feed right at the beginning. Look at that! Seems like your ugly friend grew itself a pair of hands! I said arms, but okay. Oh, but no, it's not a catch because my machine which is all loaded. Okay. Groot, shut up! I've had it with you. Okay. Now, he, he, I'll admit, this in prison gets a little, in prison gets a little bit harder this time. Mainly because he starts really st slamming on you, and it really hurts. But you know what? Once he loses one foot, it becomes easier. Oh, but he knows how to do this now. He 
He knows how to climb. He's got arms. Hey Link, the machine's all loaded and ready to embark. If that flabby sack of teeth tries to climb the wall, I can fly out you with your bomb. When you want it, okay. You press up. All right, time for boost to explode the action. Aims just like it did in Wind Waker. You, I, I get it. Shut up. I, I played the game before. It should remember when you played the game before. Okay, so you just kind of point right at it. It's not too hard for the first one, but it does get a little bit harder. Sometimes you have to go around to get a better vantage point. It, it's not... It's not hard. This is the second time we're fighting this guy. It's still not that hard. So don't worry about it. I'll start loading her back. Okay, I get it, Bruce. I get it. You're trying. Bruce. Yeah, I know. Like, dude, you're trying. Anyway, so when he's down, he actually won't be taking any steps because he's still in a lot of pain. Oh, well, he's taking a step. I like how Toes give him his power. I'm just going to point that out right now. Anyway, so once those all fall down, he's going to fall backwards and Link decides to run through the bad way. Now, here's a problem. This happens to me all the time. I'm stuck on the other side of him. I cannot get him because his arms block the entire thing. So you have to come around the long way. And you don't have a lot of time to do this. So let's just hope that I don't screw this up. Because I've screwed this up many a time in the past. And it upsets me greatly. Anyway, you have to up slash his horn and seal back into him. And he stands up and he's all mad and stuff. And he's like, oh, I'm so very angry. I'm going to grow it back out again. And then roar. I'm so... Met Ew. Ew. It's so gross to see his fingers grow back like that. Oh, okay. Groose is ready to fire again, but I'm not going to fire again because he might start climbing. And then we have to wait for Groose to shoot again and be ready. And if he's not ready, then we're going to have a problem. Anyway, I should probably be trying to slash his toe. They're all dead. One more good mark. Ah, oh, I just got way out of that one. I just got out of the way of that one. Again. I always feel like I can use the arrow on him, but I, I don't. Once one toe is down, it becomes a little bit easier. Because he can't take steps on that front. Just like limping. He's limping. Okay, now he's going to try climbing. I, I've been bitten in the butt before but for throwing the bomb out from Bruce like way too early. And then he would start climbing after I hit him. Because you can use it without hitting him. It's like a speedrunning thing, but I, I just don't. So I hit him again. He's all mad. And he falls down. And he slashes his toes again. And I think that's all of it. He's, there we go. Now he's going to fall over. And is Link going to run the bad way again? Link's going to run the bad way again. As we saw right, right there, he ran the wrong way. But luckily, we have a thing to launch us up again. So his arms like to block the entire path. And it still upsets me. The one time where I did lose because of that, it was oh, geez. Well, I've, I think, it, yeah, it was one time I lost because of that. Still upset me greatly. Up, up, up. There we go. I set up, and it wasn't going up, and I was going to be upset. Oh, if he's going back into worm mode, this time with arms. I'm just going to try to meet him up there. Now, what you can do is while he's in this mode, while he's rolling up, you can actually lead the shot a little bit meet up with him and I'll knock him out of it so pretty useful where is he in comparison to me I can't tell I can't look because I have to watch all these cutscenes every time <sighs> there he is okay so I'm way ahead of him but that's fine I'd rather be way ahead of him than way behind him I slash his fingers off actually I don't think it achieves anything to slash his fingers off though if you missile bomb, it is pretty bad. I suggest not missing. Got that foot just in time. So he's gonna take the light step with that one. And we got the other one. We're gonna do this. We should have it from here. Link's on the wrong side of him again though, which is a problem. Always a problem, because you can't run around him. Which means I have to wait, where whoa, 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 I fell down? What? This is gonna oh I jinxed myself by saying we got this. I jinxed myself when I said we got this. So now I gotta run all the way up here. Run all the way back down. Jump off now. Am I good? Oh, okay, good. Good enough. 
I have to hope that I can get this. Up, up. Got him, okay. I got worried there. I got really worried. He's all flashing white. And that, that means defeat. Because white usually means bad, right? Stole this whole effect from Twilight Princess. We get it. You like to make a lot of Zelda references in the same in the Zelda game. We get it. Anyway, so we gotta go down there and gotta lock that away again. Mm. Now, Link, strike the ceiling spike with the Skyward Strike and restore the seal quickly. Okay, here we go. Here we go. It's gonna want me to draw something new. Oh, it's like two triangles. Let me put the mark back on it. I never understood how Link knew how to stab it into the ground like that. But we did it. Some music gets all triumphant. Nice work there, Link. Of course, you couldn't have done it without me, but no need to thank Bruce. I, I know I saved your tail. Now let's get the gated thing up and running, and I'll go on ahead. Okay, Bruce, whatever you say. Next time on Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword, we are going to enter the Gate of Time. We're going to, you know, do that and all that fun stuff. So I'll see you guys all next time. I'm, I, you know, I'm just going to meet you guys up top. I'm just going to go up there now and then you guys will know where I am. Oh, I'm right here. See you guys all next time.